All right, so today we are doing geometric series. That is going to be um, lesson 3-5. And your goal is going to be, um, you guys are going to be able to actually find the sum of a geometric series. Now, if you're wondering, wait, we skipped 3-4. Well, that's because 3-4 was it's kind of like a really, really short lesson. And so we're going to save that for like a Friday for like a short day. So we're going to do um, lesson 3-5 just so you can kind of get the basics of finding a geometric series. Okay, so when looking, you of course, we need the formula for a geometric series. And that formula to find the sum of a finite geometric series, because there is a difference between finite and infinite for this, is S sub n equals A sub 1, parentheses, 1 minus R to the n all over 1 minus R. Where of course, A sub 1 is our first term, like it's been. R is our common ratio, the number that we're multiplying the previous term to get the next term. And N, of course, is our number of terms which we are adding up. So let's take a look at an example. It says 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus dot, 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 S sub 8. So as we can see, that S sub 8 basically lets us know that it, we are trying to find the sum of the first eight terms of this geometric sequence. And we know it's geometric because if we take the second term, which is 2, and divide it by the first term, which is 1, we'll see that the common ratio is going to be 2. You can also do that with the third and the second term. If I do 4 divided by 2, I should get 2, which I do. So that lets us know that the common ratio is 2. Now, yes, this may be very easy to see, but again, this is the same skill, the same concept that you would use if you could not see what the common ratio was right away. So we're going to plug it into our formula now. So it's going to be 1, because that's our first term, parentheses 1 minus r, which is 2, raised to the n power, which is 8, all over 1 minus 2. Okay? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And if you kind of want to, you know, kind of simplify this, then yes, you can say that this is nothing but negative 1. And then, of course, you have 1 in the parentheses 1 minus 2 to the 8. Now, what I don't want you guys to do is I don't want you to, like, distribute whatever this number is to both parentheses. Do not do that. Because what you really are doing is raising 2 to the 8th power, doing 1 minus that number, and when, then whatever that number is, then you're going to multiply by 1. Okay? So... So, 2 to the 8th power is 256. So you have 1 times 1 minus 256 all over a negative 1. 1 minus 256 is a negative 255. So you have 1 times a negative 255 divided by a negative 1. Of course, 1 times a negative 255 is a negative 255. And then negative 255 divided by negative 1 is 255. So the sum of the first eight terms of this geometric series is 255. And that's it. Pretty straightforward. Now this one says get the sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence. Okay? So we're trying to find the sum of the first 10 terms, and that means that n is going to be 10. So we're finding the sum of the first 10 terms. And we're going to plug in everything. So we need our first term, which is 5. Then 1 minus our common ratio. Hopefully you can see to go from 5 to 10, from 10 to 20, you are multiplying by 2. So your common ratio is 2. We're going to raise it to the 10th power. And then, of course, we're going to do two, Sorry, 1 minus 2. Now, please do not get in the habit of thinking, oh, well, the common ratio is always going to be 2. No, it just so happens to be for these last two examples that the common ratio is 2. Okay, so now we're going to work everything out. We have 5, parenthesis 1, minus 2 to the 10th power. Now, let's see, what is 2 to the 10th power? I'm going to go to my calculator, type that in. So that's going to be 1,024 all over 2 minus 1, which is a negative 1, 
I am going to, of course, subtract 1 from 1,024. So that's going to give me a negative 1,023. I am going to multiply that by 5 and then divide by a negative 1. So when I multiply that by 5, that's going to give me a negative 5,115. But when, I multi so, but when I divide it by a negative 1, it's going to give me a positive 5,115. And that is how you find the sum of a finite geometric series. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You plug everything in. Now, if you're looking at number three, you're like, find the number of terms, but I thought we were doing series. I thought we were finding out sums. Yes, that is exactly what this lesson is about. This particular example, we're actually going to hold off on until I'm actually in class, so then that way we can go over it together. So you're not going to do number three on this part of the foldable and also number three on the next part of the foldable because you are going to need to know a particular skill in order to be able to do this. So we're going to skip over this and we're going to go into the sum of a of an infinite series, okay? Now there's a difference between a finite and an infinite, okay? Let's start with the formula first because there, there is a different formula. The formula for an infinite geometric series is a sub 1 all over 1 minus r. Very simple. No, no complication, no confusions. But the one thing is, is that an infinite series versus a finite one, its common ratio is going to be in between 0 and 1 when you take the absolute value of r, okay? So your ratio is going to be a fraction that's in between 0 and 1 when you take the absolute value of it. And on top of that, it's going to have these three ellipses right here to let you know that the series goes on and on and on forever. But what you're going to notice is that if you were to find like the next few terms after, you know, 0 0.011, you'll notice that the number is getting really, 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 really small, very close to 0, okay? very close to zero so basically even though you're adding several thousands hundreds millions of numbers the fact that they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller means that your your sum is getting is not really increasing that much so 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 you use the formula for an infinite geometric series because it will basically give you what number the sum is approaching if that makes sense okay so let's find this all right so we're going to use the formula, the sum of an infinite geometric series. We need our first term, a sub 1. That's our first term of the, of the series, so it's 1.1. Then it's going to be 1 minus r. Now, maybe you can see it, maybe you can't, but this is where that trick I showed you comes in handy. Take your second term and divide it by your first term, and you'll see that the common ratio is 0.1. If you don't believe me, Take the third term, divide it by the second term, and you'll see that the common ratio is still 0.1. So our r in this case is going to be 0.1. So we're going to have 1.1 divided by 0.9. We'll go into our calculator. We'll figure out what that number is. And of course, it's going to be a number that is repeating and not ending. So we're going to round to three significant figures. So that's 1.22. Three significant figures. You start with your first non-zero number and go to the third number after that. So then this will be considered your first significant figure, your second, your third. Okay? So our answer here is 1.22. That is the sum of this infinite geometric series. Let's look at the next example. You have one, sorry, you have three plus one plus one third plus one ninth plus dot dot dot. Remember those dots let you know that this is an infinite geometric series. So we're going to use the formula S sub infinity equals our first term, which is three, then one minus R common ratio. Second term divided by the first term, boom. There it is, one third. So, I'm going to have three 
divide it by two thirds. One minus one third is two thirds. And yes, I can use my calculator to figure this out, but I'm gonna refresh your memory of how to divide fractions within fractions. You keep, change, flip. Keep the numerator, change division to multiplication, and then flip the denominator. So you have three times three over two. That becomes nine over two, or in other words, 4.5. Either one of these would be acceptable, but the sum of this infinite geometric series is nine over two, or 4.5. And that's it. That is how you find the sum of a geometric series, finite and infinite. Again, number three, we're gonna hold off on that one until I'm actually there to teach you guys, but that's it. That is how you find the sum of a geometric series, okay? Now, I want you guys to try this one on your own. You can do this on your desk just to make sure that you actually know how to do this. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video, like literally pause the video, try this one, find S sub six, and then press play when you're ready to check your answer. Did you get 1456 as your sum of this finite geometric series? I hope so. Remember, do t the second term divided by the first term to figure out your common ratio, and it should have been 3. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Okay, now I want you to do this one. I want you to find the sum of the series. I'm not going to tell you if it's finite or infinite. You have to figure that out on your own. So pause the video, pause it. I actually want you to work this one out and then see if um, you can figure out the sum. Hopefully you recognize that this was an infinite geometric series and you found that the common ratio was two thirds. You did the second term divided by the first term. So when you plugged it in, you should have had three divided by one minus two thirds which then equaled nine once you simplified, um, once you subtracted and then um, did keep change flip, okay? So you guys are gonna work on your homework. Of course, you're not gonna do the ones where you actually have to figure out uh, the number of terms before you actually figure out the series. So just, you know, ignore those for right now. And again, we'll do those when, we, um, when we're actually all together and I am there to teach it.